I don't know. I think part of it is that um, decentralization. I think people who are individuals, I hope, who are in the dialysis unit and whatever they, they're doing in the dialysis unit for the benefit of the patients, um, understand and believe that when we say that the reason for our existence is the care of the patients, that is not a made up phrase, that is the way we live. And that if you don't believe that, you probably ought to work someplace else because that is the heart and soul of the, uh, of the company, I believe. And it has been certainly in the early days, I mean, goodness gracious, but for that, we never would have gotten this started. And it has, uh, it has continued, I hope, through, through the, uh, 50, the whole 50 years. Um, I think there was some concern, certainly on my part, if that would be lost with uh, the increase in the size and the number of units that we currently have. Would we lose that flavor? Would we lose that, uh, that concept and the, uh, I don't know, it's not exactly camaraderie, but it's, it's belief, it really is, in that what we're doing is something special. And I, I get a sense that that has not happened and that by and large, the majority of folks, there are exceptions, but the majority of folks are continuing to want to work for the company because they believe in the, uh, the mission that DCI started with and they believe that mission still exists. Yeah, I think it's the people. Um, I think um, the last year and a half, more than any other time, it's been so clear how dedicated people are to DCI and, and the patients we serve. And for individuals caring for our patients in the clinic, individuals working at DCI at all levels, there is just a commitment um, to our goals. And like you said, Dad, the care of the patient is our reason for existence. And if, to be honest, if that's not, if you are tied to a healthcare provider and that's not your goal, you're probably not gonna stay at DCI for a very long time. But when you come to DCI and you realize that DCI really does, that, that it means something, that it is meaningful, um, you stay and you contribute and, and you make this company the incredible organization that it is. And I know that there are many individuals within DCI who I have not had the opportunity to meet, but who are critically important to us being able to provide the best care to our patients. And so, I mean, I think it starts with my dad setting the example, um, but it, it so much flows from each person looking every day at what can I do today to make some patient's life better, whatever it is. Any time we have a difficult decision, um, when we are struggling with that decision as a leadership team, very often my dad will pull us back to the patient perspective and remind us that the only reason that we are here is because of the patients we serve. And whatever decision we make, it needs to put the, we need to start with the patient and then work backwards. Um, and so I think you've, all, you've always, Dad, given us an incredible perspective and made sure that we were looking at things from the right point of view. The main thing, to keep the main thing is the main thing, right? Yep. What, how does that go? The main thing, thing is, is to keep the, the main thing the main thing. Hello, I'm State Representative Jason Powell of Nashville. And I'm Heather Powell, CEO for the Tennessee Kidney Foundation. And we're here today to present Dr. Keith Johnson and DCI for its 50th anniversary with this House Joint Resolution number 636, which was passed unanimously in the House and the Senate and signed by the governor. In honor of DCI's 50th anniversary, we thought it would be the perfect opportunity to honor Dr. Keith Johnson for his efforts and his work in the kidney community. So on behalf of all the citizens of the state of Tennessee, we are proud to present 
this proclamation in honor of uh, Dr. Keith Johnson and DCI for all the contributions that he has made in the renal community. Well, of course, that uh, the way I look at it is that I am simply uh, and very gratefully accepting this award on behalf of, of DCI and on behalf of not only all the employees who work for DCI at the present time, taking care of the uh, thousands of patients that we now provide dialysis for, uh, and the uh, many patients who we provide and try to provide continually organs for for transplantation. Um, because it is, it is the individuals that have worked for DCI through the years uh, that are really uh, the recipients of this award. And I, I'm honored to have worked with them through the years and to, um, to be in a position to, uh, to be allowed to be their spokesperson on the, uh, on the uh, occasion of, of being awarded this this very, very nice acknowledgement of the work that they have done through the years to support not only the patients here in Tennessee, but also patients in uh, many other states throughout, I think it is now 30 states, uh, throughout the United States. They are the real, the real heroes of this story. And uh, they continue to be, even as we fight through the difficulties of our current pandemic, uh, and the challenges that uh, face us um, living through this period of time and providing, continuing to provide quality of care uh, for the patients who so desperately need it.